craziest pastors I've ever met in my life. I love everyone. What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball Brand. 4-A-W-W-E Raw Review, and we start off the show with Dean Ambrose, Randy Orton, in a uh, who's got the bigger stick competition, but it turns into a, uh, hey, New Day wants to interrupt, then Kane makes it a tag match. Teddy Long, where you at, brother? Anyway, turns into a tag match, like I said, and, uh, well... <sighs> Listen here, Randy Orton gets pushed into Dean Ambrose and gets rolled up by Kofi Kingston, and Kofi Kingston pins Randy Orton? This happened. It did. <laughs> so it is what it is. And uh, then we move on to Naomi versus Nikki Bella, and you know, pages on commentary. You got Team Bad, you got Team Bella ringside. So you got some shit outside of the ring, and it turns into. Oh, what I did like, but it, obviously the chaos outside of the ring, that's what happens. But uh, you get the, who you want Sasha chance. This was awesome because Brie Bella, like, she instigated it. And then she ended up getting tripped up on the, uh, the, the announce table. So it is what it is. Nikki gets rolled up. That's the end. Goodbye. And uh, what, Sasha? Sasha's over as fuck. She is the shit and is going to happen is badass and uh, pretty cool though uh, I liked quick finish but I, I like it. So anyway, moving on. That's it. Cena. John Cena is back with the US title open. He wants to uh, allow anybody a chance. And um, oh, who answers? Dolph Ziggler. And I guess um, Ziggler. The whole TMZ bullshit, Ziggler tried to kiss Nikki Bella. I don't know what the Total Divas bullshit's all about, but I guess that's the storyline, uh, or real. I, I have no fuck clue, and I don't care. So, it makes it mean something here, actually, if that was to be true, or... Doesn't matter, storyline true or not. If that was true, makes it, you know, important. So, these two go head on. Ziggler is rocking. Cena is a badass in his own. They I respect John Cena. Seriously, the guy, he can come out there and sing with the guys in the crowd shitting on him. That is talent. So anyway, he uh, does a great match, but the only thing that sucks is he kicks out of every goddamn thing, and then finally in the end, he hits an AA, and nobody can kick out of that, I guess, when it's the time. So, John Cena picks up the win, but, uh, goddamn, at least fucking eat a pin once in a while, and then uh, nobody would shit all over him as much. That's just, that's it, that, that's it. Uh, so, I respect John Cena, but there's sometimes he could eat a pin, it won't hurt him, and it would make everybody a lot happier, so, simple as that. Then we have the Dudleys versus the Ascension, quick 3D finish, holy shit, that was pretty quick, and, uh, hey, awesome. Then we have... Uh, Barrett and Sheamus versus Neville and Cesaro. Cesaro over as hell. Everybody says he's in the doghouse again. And uh, you do get this uh, the bull hammer from outside of the ring to Neville. And uh, yeah, that that's that. Over, done. Then we move on to Roman Reigns. With a promo, pretty cool. I, I, I dug it. And uh, he's moving on. <laughs> like he's, he, he's using the crowd. This is what promos are all about. Like, Feeding off the reactions from the crowd. And he did it pretty good with the watch hands. You guys can't hear me? I, I dug it, totally dug it, because you don't get that anymore. So he's feeding off the crowd, which is pretty badass. Yeah, and he's doing way better than he did a year ago. So the guy's growing, and he's doing what he's supposed to do. And he has a match here against Braun Strowman, the monster. And holy shit, yeah, he's a monster. And you have the Wyatt family ringside. So, uh,. Roman Reigns, so in the end, Superman punch on the announce table, and he picks up the win by running back into the ring. Braun Strowman gets uh, counted out. That's that. Awesome. And then as the Wyatt family goes to attack Roman Reigns, he slips on out of there. He's playing the smart game here, and I like it. Roman Reigns is kicking ass in my book. Comment down below. What do you guys think? His growth in the last even six months. Roman Reigns, I think he's doing great. Promo, in-ring, and feeding off the crowd, <sighs> just awesome shit. 
You, you can't go wrong. So everybody just, it's the cool thing to shit on Roman Reigns. It's the cool thing to shit on John Cena. That's that. So anyway, respect it. The guy's putting in the work. He's taking ass kickings, and he's putting in some fucking serious matches. I, I, I like it. So anyway, Rusev versus Ryback. And uh, this was a, yeah, there was a few quick matches. Shell shock victory in the end. And um, that was quick. And it, but this was more about the TMZ thing with Lana and Rusev actually getting uh, engaged. And Summer Ray snaps and shits all over it. And she's gone. She's done. That's that. Whatever. Lucha Dragons versus uh, Kevin Owens. Well, no. Well, the Lucha Dragons team member, Kalisto versus Kevin Owens, that is. And uh, same thing, another quick match. Kalisto's very talented, but a lot smaller than Kevin Owens. And he eats a pop-up powerbomb when he goes for a, uh, a Huracurana. So, hey, whatever. Kevin Owens picks up the win. He's awesome. He's badass. Can he go wrong? No. Kevin Owens rocks. Then we move on to Brie, Bella, and Alicia Fox versus Becky Lynch and Charlotte. And, um, well, um, this, eh, Brie ends up picking up the win, which is pretty cool. And with, uh, she pins Charlotte, which was surprising enough, but it's to move on. This Divas Revolution with Natalia now. They're claiming NBC or some shit, or whatever. I guess it's catchy enough. Paige is now, ah, it is what it is. Natalia found her way back into the picture. That's good. So awesome. And then to finish it all off, because the backstage thing was Kane, corporate Kane, trying to get a hold of Steph and Triple H. They're having more phone communication problems since back in the days when he took two cans and the fucking fishing line between the two. They, can't, they just can't get through to each other. So anyway, they tell him absolutely not. Corporate King cannot have a match tonight against Seth Rollins, which is the main event. So it's a lumberjack match. Seth Rollins versus now. Yes, Demon King. Did you expect anything else? Anyway, um, it is what it is. Match goes on. The Lumberjacks, they attack Demon King. Demon King fights through this. Looks strong as hell. He ends up tombstoning fucking Seth Rollins. Pinning him. One, two, three. In the middle of the ring. Picking up the win. Victorious. Demon King. This day and age. Yeah, the guy is still a monster. He's still... His physique is great. Goddamn. You can't... 20 years ago, Kane was awesome. Kane can still be awesome right now. And Kane picking up a win over Seth Rollins, the WWE World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, was pretty goddamn cool, actually, in my book, with a tombstone. So, I liked it. And what did you guys think? Yes, a lot of people are going to say, like I said, comment down here. They're going to say, oh, Kane, fuck it down. It's over. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, he's still Demon Kane. Come on. The guy's still badass, in shape, and not injured. He goes. He, at his age, he goes in the ring, so you cannot shit on a guy for going. Uh, like guys in the NFL, some of the old timers, really. There's a ton of them out there, Like, but you'll still cheer them. So don't shit on the guys that can still go in the ring and can still stir up a goddamn awesome main event. So cool in my book, so guys. Comment down here, get the t-shirts, Sons of Wrestling shirts, or any of the other cool ones that I did, and I will catch you guys next week.